Okay, YouTube, check it out. We got a blue Ford Edge, paint code FT, blue metallic. This one had to have a new hood, bumper, repair on the fender, right fender, blend left fender. Now on the hood, when I cut it in, I seal and base coat the outside of the hood. That way, when I put it on the car and paint the rest of it, it covers nice and easy. First coat of the base, you really should start on covering your primer. That's what you want to do first. I didn't do that. I probably have my AirPods on, not thinking about it. I seem to uh, do my best work when I'm just listening to music, not stressing. Anytime I get too nervous about a job, I usually mess it up and have to do it twice or, or have to do a lot of wet sand and buff. But as you can see, I'm too short to reach all the way across the hood, so I have to stand in front of it and do the middle, and go to the other side, and finish off the hood. This color got a lot of metallic in it, should cover easy. I use blue primer, cover that primer, no problem. I do a second coat. Sometimes I do a third coat, but two coats on this color, covered it, no problem. Make sure you flick in that wrist, get that blend on that door started. You don't want to like dead stop on the edge of the door or anything. This one usually I go about halfway up the door just to make sure it gives me some room to make a nicer blend. Or sometimes I take the base coat blender and the base coat and mix that 50-50 to thin out the base coat and do a blend if I'm having trouble with if it's a hard silver or gold or something of that nature. But this color you don't really got to worry about it too much. touched the hood there, but uh, when I was clear coat, you'll see later on in the video, when I was clear coat, it actually did touch the hood, and uh, I was able to just dust some, some clear over it, and you know, go back over with a full coat of clear, and you could even tell that it happened, but be careful of that, watch that hose, especially reaching, reaching over a roof, reaching over a hood. Clear coat, what everybody always likes seeing. Uh, that first coat, I used to go pretty quick, put it on pretty thin. It's gonna be through some dry spots. I've just been trying to get it up there so the tack off, give, you know, get something for that second coat where you go much slower and nicer to stick to. That way you don't get runs and sags everywhere. Some people do that first coat just like they do the second coat, and that's fine too. I've done that before. As long as, long as you don't, you're not getting a bunch of runs and stuff. There's no problem with it. Uh, this this clear coat, I actually found that if you go too heavy on the first coat, you get like a solvent pop or, or something going on, and it, it doesn't look too good to me. So I just make sure I go on thin with that first coat, give it a good 10 minutes to flash, and you know, smash on that second coat. Try to make it as nice as possible that way. I ain't got to do too much buffing on it. I, that's one thing I don't like doing. But if you want to paint cards, you're going to have to do it.
footage of the second coat short to keep the video short and sweet, keep everybody entertained. Uh, as you can see, go a little bit slower, make sure it's going on nice. Watch what you're doing. I can't really tell you how much of an overlap to do. Just watch what you're doing and uh, make sure it ain't going on too heavy. Watch those door handles with door handles go. It'll sag right there easily. Got any questions? Leave it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.